So, remember a week ago when it was wall-to-wall -wall whistleblower coverage? What happened to that guy? Lots of so-called journalists keep making the case that the person's identity, ooh, must be protected, as if he's Kelly McGillis in Witness, and the Democrats are Harrison Ford pretending to be Amish. Shut up! <laughs> it's all BS, and we're tired of it, frankly. So we sent one of our dumbest producers, Gene Nelson, to investigate. <laughs> Here's what we found. <laughs> the whistleblower. The whistleblower. The whistleblower. The whistleblower. Who is the whistleblower? Who is the whistleblower? A question that's captivated the world. I hit the road to find out. If you want to find the whistleblower, you got to get inside his head. Surround yourself with whistleblowers at a whistle factory. And later, my exclusive interview with Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and President Donald Trump. Damn it! My interview with some guy. You know, Tucker's producer wouldn't have made this mistake. The American Whistle Corporation in Columbus, Ohio. The only manufacturers of metal whistles in the country. How are they connected to the whistleblower? Tell us what you do here. Oh, okay, I am in charge of ensembling uh -huh. whistles. Are you from Ukraine? I am from Honduras. And is that near Ukraine? Yes. What is near Ukraine? So have you ever gone golfing with the Bidens? No. Do you have any kids yourself? Yes. Yeah. 36, 34, and 30 years old. I just turned 30. Are you my mom? Yes, I can be your mommy. Oh yes. my gosh, we'll do it later. <laughs> oh. I was in too deep. I had to keep moving. Okay, this is really exciting. Follow me. This machine behind me, this was actually used in the 20s when they caught whistleblowers. They would shove their hands under this plate right here and chop their fingers off. It was a favorite of loan sharks and gambling types. Anybody that was delinquent on their payments, they were viciously, savagely tortured right here. And you can see the number of fingers that were cut off. They always put a five right there. And then just for kicks and giggles, they'd bring out a nice gold band for you to stare at. And you'd go, oh, that's kind of nice. That's fun. The machines were hot, but the trail had gone cold. I spoke with American Whistle productivity engineer Phil Clark to find out more. You make whistles here, but what do you really make? No, 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 it's, it's all whistles. This, you seem incredibly suspect. All right, suspect. look, uh, you know what, we also make we make lanyards, too. What was he hiding? I needed answers. Okay, I'm here with Bruce. Bruce, how are you? I'm doing well, Greg. All right, thank you. Um, you know, for, for this uh, interview, I'll be Greg. How long have you been in the CIA? Uh, approximately uh, 58, 59 years. 59 years. 59 years. Finally, a breakthrough. But was it too late? I sat down with 24-year veteran of American Whistle, manager Joyce Thompson, to uncover the truth. Walk me through how you got involved in the whistleblowing business. I was uh, worked at a pizza shop for 10 years. In Ukraine? No. I quit there, and one of my friends worked here, and I started working here, and I've been here since. Uh, was your friend Joe Biden? No. Hunter Biden? No. So the question is, are you the whistleblower? No. Fair enough. Well, Joyce, uh, you've been a treat to talk to. I think it's only fair that we end this interview with a customary blow of the whistle, uh, if you wouldn't mind playing us out. I say we wrap around, bring it together, one, two, three. <whistles> oh my gosh, did we just make whistles great again? Yeah. Trick question, they were always great. <laughs> So what did we learn today? We didn't find the whistleblower because the whistleblower lives inside all of us. This is CNN. Okay, so we're done. Yes. Turn the camera off. Turn, the, turn it off. Turn it off. It's over. It's done. Also, there was no conspiracy. They just make really great whistles. <laughs>
We got to thank the American Whistle Corporation for putting up with our idiocy. They knew what we were doing, and they were the nicest people, and their product is amazing. I have, they gave me some great whistles, and they're in Columbus, Ohio. Always stop by, say hello, take a tour at the factory. They're good people. Don't go anywhere. Something else for you. Yeah. Yeah.